Hello guys, what's up? And in this video, we're gonna take a look at how to use headless Selenium Chrome. So how to run any of your applications without opening Google Chrome. So you're gonna have a lot of advantages. You can host it in your server and there's gonna be a very fast rendering, performance boost and a couple of them, okay? So in this video, I'm just gonna show you a simple demo how to use headless Chrome, but you can use this exact code snippet in any of your applications, in any big applications and that will work pretty much fine. It will work 100% fine and trust me guys. Okay, so before I pay, uh, get on to the snippet code that I'm gonna show you, let's test this uh, particular code out. So let's just say Python app.py. What this code is just gonna go, it's just gonna go to Google Chrome, open up Google and basically print the title of Google, which is basically Google. And just let's see what that's gonna do. So right after the bat, it's gonna open up Google Chrome and it's gonna go to www.googlechrome and then it's just gonna print out the title, which is Google, okay? And you can see it's gonna maximize the window, which is always a good good habit. And then we see we get Google. So what if you want to do this internally? You don't want to open up any browser so you can uh, you know be more efficient on speeds, no less errors and stuff like that. I'm gonna show you the exact code snippet on how to do. So first of all, we'll basically get rid of this code. We'll actually write it again, but let's make it a, a clean code. I'm gonna show you what exact snippet that you want to write, okay? So in this case, I have a class. Now, if you don't have a class, then it's completely fine. You can just have a simple line of code here. I'm just using a class and rendering the class here. Okay, so you can use whatever, j just my driver, it, it should be fine, okay? And now, guys, I'm gonna go and uh, paste you the exact snippet of code, okay? exact one okay so this is the exact one so don't worry about this i will explain this and also you don't need to understand all of this basically this exact snippet of code you can copy and paste it to any of your web applications and that should work very very fine okay so i'm going to show you how to do it or I guess so the first thing that if you see I'm gonna first of all explain in this is if you see we have options web driver chrome options so we get the chrome options from the web driver we import from selenium and then we set a lot of arguments we set a lot of settings first of all we are saying options dot headless we're setting the headless it should be true so it's gonna run on headless so this use agent just leave it for a while I'll explain in a minute and then we are setting a windows size before people used to put x here which is sorry multiplication but no it should be comma and this is how it will work okay and then we are also saying if you're using some sort of uh, a not secure app selenium will block it and wouldn't give you the request for that we are passing a setting saying ignore whatever less secure content uh, even in this row we are saying insecure content or insecure certificate if there's no SSL certificate no problem go to the website and do stuff and these are the stuff disable extension uh, proxy server and these are the stuff that I just didn't understand as much even if you see I'm working on a big web scraping project and I wanted to make sure hosted in AWS and that's because and because of that I need to run the headlessly and right now I've, I've sort of found the best options and providing and now it's working fine and I wanted to share with you guys okay so if you see we have to start maximize so then only it will grab all the elements we want to say disable GPU disable dev SMH usage and no sandbox so this is the exact code you need to any any kind of a big applications you're running it needs this is completely enough for you okay so if you see we have a driver here and we say webdriver.chrome and we are passing in the chrome driver now don't worry I want to I'll teach you I'll, I'm gonna go over this again uh, so there should be no issues so if you see first in place we have options and all of this stuff I told you I'll come back to this user agent now because uh, as we are just going to Google and grabbing some sort of title we don't need this we need to pass a user agent but if we are working with a transactional website or some other extra website it will provide you an error saying uh, it's not authorized and the request is blocked because the request is blocked you need to send the user agent okay so how you send it, you basically define your user agent. If you don't know how to find a user agent, just go to Google, search my user agent, and you'll get this user agent. Copy and paste it here, and just say options.add argument, and format that like that, and pass in the user agent. Simple as that, and that will work. And the second one I want to say, you also need to have Chrome driver inside your app, okay? And if you see, I don't have it right now, so I'm just going to copy and paste my Chrome driver into the folder, and that's what, that's only that's the only thing that you need so if you see we're creating a driver variable and we are saying excusable part chrome driver which is going to get access to this and it's going to use that driver and pass in all the options and find and work okay 
simple as that so for you this should be more than fine to run any of your application for me as i'm defining a class and getting in self i need to pass self dot options and do self dot self dot okay so let me just go quickly and put that here so let's go here and let's say self dot oops simple letters self dot okay <coughs> simple as that and that should pretty much work and if you see here, uh, there might be an error here. So as a tool, you just need to say self dot options because this is self dot options, and you also need to pass self dot options here, and this will completely work. Okay, so this is I promise you guys, I'm repeating this. This is the exact snippet of code. You don't need to understand. Just copy and paste it for you to scrape any website and use Chrome headlessly, which means you don't need to open up any browsers, saving a lot of data as well as time, and so many good stuff. Okay, so let's go just grab a simple demo here. Okay, so I'm just, uh, let's do the same thing. Let's go to Google and let's grab a screenshot of Google and also the title of Google. It's always good to grab the screenshot so we know what is happening uh, virtually. So we have to basically just say self dot driver and because i'm using self here initializing itself i'm using like that. If you don't have a class, it just put driver, no problem with that, okay? And I wanna say get and let's go to Google HTTPS dot slash slash and let's go to google.com okay and once it goes to google.com what i need to do is i want to go to google and let's say just driver and let's get the screenshot of google and oops let's say driver and dot get screenshot as a file okay if you want to get it as a png so totally fine we can get it as a file and i'm just going to say screenshot.png okay so it's going to create a file in this directory going screenshot dot uh, screenshot dot png right here so i can take a look on what's actually happening okay then we at last i'm just going to just print out as we did before let's just print out self dot driver dot title okay simple as that so we know it's all working and it's fine all right so let me just go over the code again uh, i guess i've imported everything properly uh, there's nothing much that i need to import uh, maybe i'm using executable part i might need to import os so let's just import os anyway <coughs> okay so yeah so this is just a simple script guys i promise you just copy the copy and paste it in your any 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 sort of big applications and this will totally f work fine all right, so let's go and test this out. And let's say Python app.py, and it will take a while. So it's gonna open up a browser virtually and return us some data. So it should provide us Google. All right, so it's waiting, creating the file. If you say we get Google without the browser opening before it was opening. And if I come here and see screenshot of PNG, if I click on this, I can see the screenshot. There we go. If you can see, this is the screenshot of Google. So basically, it has gone to Google and uh, got a screenshot. Now, this is this comes very handy if you're working with a lot of lot of big applications as I do. And if you want to find an error or you just want to look whether it's actually going to a particular particular website then you can you know check it just by grabbing the png so i guess that's it guys thank you so much for watching i hope this will be very helpful i'll you should i'll surely leave this piece of snippet code in the description so, so what you have to do just copy this paste it in your program just find the user agent replace this with your user agent and then make sure you also have chrome driver the stable version or the beta version inside the current directory and that's it and this will run perfectly fine okay i hope i hope this video was very helpful because last two days i was searching for the putty the the exact uh, exact con code like this youtube googled it and at last i found with a lot of lot of actually a uh, couple of websites and some videos i put together one sign of a code and this will 100 percent run okay i suggest you and i promise you it will run and if it doesn't run obviously leave a comment and i wouldn't accept accept a comment because it would 100 percent run but if you have yeah definitely leave it anyway thank you so much for watching this is a short video i want to make this short and clean and as i told you i want to repeat whether it's a big application whether it's a large scale this will perfectly work okay uh, so yeah that's it thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video